You know, back in the day, if you needed a doctor or medical advice, you just pick up the phone. But these days, reaching out is just a Facebook message away. Here to talk about the rise of social media and medicine is Dr. Malin Kerr with Synergy Plastic Surgery. But first off, a big congratulations is in order. You were named Texas Monthly's top doctor of 2014. Yeah, there, there are definitely a few of us uh, in that list. and. Uh, we won the year before as well, and so uh, very happy to, to, to get that award again this year. For so. sure. And you're telling me you're becoming increasingly popular on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I think that um, Austin is a very tech-savvy town. We have a lot of uh, folks here that are using that sort of technology. We see, you know, sort of the launching of, of Twitter and Foursquare out of South by Southwest, and, and I think that uh, people love it. I mean, we have over a thousand people that follow us uh, on our business page, and it's, it's clearly um, a huge way to sort of interact with our business and really changes, I think, the relationship that the patients have uh, with me and our practice. So. so you guys launched your Facebook page about four years ago, so yeah. you were on the bandwagon pretty early. What are the benefits that you see coming from it and what are the different ways that patients use it and, and you use it to interact with them? Yeah, I think that, you know, we use it to, to give them updates, to tell them about things that are changing, um, you know, not only in our practice, I mean, simple things, just hiring like a new employee or something like that, but also, you know, new procedures. Um, the patients use it, I think, to interact also with like one another. So, you know, once they post a comment, you know, we may sort of broach a topic, they'll post a comment, other patients will post back to them. And so they'll sort of interact with each other as well as, as, well as with me and, and our practice in general. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a really interesting way for us to get information out and then patients also to, to, to learn information and to, to really, I think, utilize their doctor-patient relationship in a, in a way that's really never been seen before. Mm -hmm. And, of course, when you start talking about social media and medicine, there's always the privacy issue. How does that work? If someone goes on and posts something, they're kind of allowing their name to be out there with that comment. Yeah, I would agree. It's definitely a little bit of a sticky situation. I think that, you know, clearly the people that are out making those comments are, are okay with it, mm -hmm. right? And, and I think that if you do um, have privacy concerns, then, you, then you're clearly not going to be participating in that uh, sort of level. But, I mean, I think that that's something that's going to definitely be developing over the years, and we'll have to see how that, how that plays out as far as you know, you know, you're clearly identifying yourself as a as a patient of mm -hmm. ours. By and you were talking about the power of social media. That some of your patients have never even met you, never stepped foot in your office, and, and they're calling up and booking appointments based off of things they have seen online. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think that um, sort of the rise of online reviews, um, primarily uh, through Google and Health Grades and other um, sort of uh, organizations, have really sort of given patients an opportunity to kind of review almost, I mean, I hate to say it like a, like a restaurant or, or, mm -hmm. or sort of a hotel, but, but, but a very similar sort of experience. I mean, I actually have people that, you know, I looked today, last night on my way in here, uh, we have about a 300 or so online reviews that I could find in about five minutes. And so, I, you know, people read through all of them and, and they're like, you know, he's the guy for me just based on other people's experience, you know, before, before we've even met, which is, I mean, clearly something that never happened, you know, five years ago, and, and I think that that's something that we'll see increasing in the future. Yeah, for sure, and uh, free advertising. We are out of time. Surprise, surprise. We're going to put this interview online. You can post it on your Facebook page. Yeah, we'll do it. <laughs>